I sit on the Senate Armed Services Committee. I work with our generals, with our military leaders, with our intelligence. I am able to work with Republicans. I am able to bring people together. I've been in the U.S. Senate for over 12 years. I bring a different perspective. I worked internationally around the world for decades. I traveled, I met with governments, I met with businesses, and I understand how America interacts with other countries. Wait, hold up. So stumped. Tom Steyer over here thinks he can be commander in chief because he went on a lot of business trips? Because <laughs> that's basically what he said. It's almost like he was like, that's right, vote for me, I'm Delta Diamond Medallion. <laughs> it's a weird reason. But, but look, to be fair to him, to be fair, Tom Steyer did go on to say that he thinks being commander in chief is more about judgment than experience. And I'll be honest, in that, I agree. Because here's my thing, every candidate makes it sound like they're experts on the military. When in reality, the generals give the president options and then the president just picks one. I don't care which president it is. Like even Trump, when they conduct their op these operations, they give him options and then he picks. He's not planning the operation. He's not there like, okay, Alpha Team, you're gonna go in low. <laughs> and then pew, pew, pew. Then the bad guy's <laughs> over the top. <laughs> then the grenade. And then you're gonna be like, ba 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 ba. And then I'll jump in and I'll be like, take Eric, take Eric. <laughs> And then we all win. We all win. That's not happening. That's not happening. Now, I'll be honest with you. Other than what we just saw, there wasn't much new in this debate. They touched on health care, trade policies, impeachment. And to be honest, it was more of the same. You know, Bernie wants Medicare for all. Biden thinks it's too much. Klobuchar says she can win Republican votes. Buttigieg says he brings something new to the job, which is a fake ID. <laughs> all in all, today's debate wasn't that exciting. And I guess this is what happens when you only have white people at your party. <laughs> you know, yeah, there's no Kamala to spice things up. There's no Corey to do the Carlton, you know? <laughs> there's no Andrew Yang making it rain. <laughs> so now the big question is, how will this debate affect the race going forward? Although, to be honest, I think the real question should be, do these debates even matter at all? Because if you think about it, the debates used to be the best way to get in front of the American people. But with two billionaires in the race, the game has changed. Just look at Tom Steyer, for instance. He's far from a household name. He has the charisma of a clipboard, but recent <laughs> polls, recent polls show him surging to second place in South Carolina and third in Nevada. And one guess for how he did it. So far, the candidates combined have spent $17 million on political ads just in the state of South Carolina. Of that $17 million, 14 million of it was spent by Tom Steyer. Same thing in Nevada. His Nevada-only ad spending is more than all of the ad spending by Biden, Warren, and Klobuchar combined nationwide. Yeah, that's right. Tom Steyer is spending more on ads in one state than other candidates have spent in their entire campaign. And clearly, it's having a big effect on the polls, which shows you how effective advertising can be. If you just show people something enough times, eventually they'll be like, yeah, I like that. <laughs> that's why Cheerios is a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's the most popular cereal of all time, and it tastes like if bread farted. 